Hey everybody, welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. Got a 450X EPOS automower here. This is one that doesn't use a boundary wire. It uses GPS satellites and a reference station and you just kind of go around and map it out and um, then turn it loose. And it knows where to go and what to do and what not to do and all that stuff. Uh, I just want to clear up some confusion here because a lot of people think because Husqvarna said, hey, here's the residential version of our of our EPOS automowers. They think that this is guaranteed to work around their house, and that's not true. Um, the fact is that this is the same as the mowers they've already had out there, the 550E posts and 550H E posts. This is the same thing. It's just gray. It's the same boards. It's the same technology, same software, all that stuff. It's the same thing. Just gray. So just because they label it residential doesn't make it any better or any any more likely to work around a house or under trees or anything like that. Um, and, a, and a lot of people have been confused by that. And um, they did they did make a software update here uh, at the beginning of 2023 that did improve the way these things perform around buildings and stuff. We've had better luck with that this year since that since that software update, but. If you have like an L-shaped building, you have a tight corridor, or you have like a U-shaped building, or you have a lot of tree coverage, it's still going to lose signal. It's not going to work all that great around your property. So just because it's labeled residential, don't expect it to work around every residence. <clears throat> and if you go to your dealer and you say, well, I want this 450 because it's a residential unit. I need that. I can't use the 550 version because it's commercial and it won't work around my house. If one won't work around your house, the other's not going to work around your house because the only difference is one's orange and one's gray. That's it. That is it. Um, the existing 550 EPOS automowers and the existing 550H EPOS automowers, you know, that have been already out there in the field for a year or two, if somebody takes the time to do a software update on them, um, they, they can improve them a little bit, you know, to where they'll work around buildings a little bit better, like these will, and like the, the new, uh, 550 versions coming out of the box will, um, it will also give them the ability to do the systematic mowing, which means you can put stripes in the yard and you can choose to either do straight lines, you can do a checkerboard, you can do diamonds and you can set the angles for all that stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that ability, if you had a little bit of an incline, you know, where if you had a regular 450X and it would struggle on that incline, you can force it to mow a certain way on the incline, which maybe you can get away with using this um, in that area where you couldn't use your regular 450X or 450XH. But if you still have an issue where um, you have your, your mower coming down an incline, it has to stop at the bottom of the incline at a boundary, this still isn't going to work for that. Um, it's still going to react the same way. It could slide past. It, um, it will still have that same issue that a regular 450X would have. Uh, some people say, well, I need the residential version because I need a menu screen and a keypad. It's the same thing as the orange one, as I just said. So there is no menu screen and keypad. It is a rocker toggle switch. You can see right here. Start, stop, start, stop. There's an LED that lights up there, depending on what color that is. Um, that'll be the status of the mower, whether it's, uh, you know, blue, green, red, orange. You know, look in your manual, that'll tell you all the different variations of what they all mean. Uh, it, it's built on the same platform as the, uh, the 450Xs that you've been seeing since 2016. You know, there's a high cut and there's a low cut version, but it's the same chassis. It's the same wheel motors, same drive wheels, same caster wheels, same cutting motor, same cutting disc, uh, all that stuff is the same. The charging station is built the same. It's got a different charging station board in there, and there's no contacts on the back to plug the boundary wires into. But other than that, it's still the same, looks the same. It's the same components uh, for the most part that are used to make up the charging station, to make up this mower. So... The expectations for these things are a little bit more <laughs> than what they're actually capable of, uh, and, and a lot of um, a lot of these groups that we're seeing, you know. Um, so I just wanted to kind of straighten that out, you know. When somebody says, "No, no, 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 we want the big one," um, it's not any bigger. Still the same body as a 450X. 
yeah, it can handle more uh, more mowing now. It can handle a larger area because of the systematic mowing, but it's still the same size mower, you know, um, because they're saying that these could potentially handle two to three acres. It doesn't mean the mower is physically larger. It just means that you're going to be able to break it down and get this thing to work and focus more on certain areas and getting it done rather than it running around random, which you still can allow this to do if you really wanted to. Um, but that's some of the main things there that I just wanted to take the time to explain to everybody because, again, there's a lot of confusion, you know, just because of the way this this was put out there and uh, has been marketed and everything. And what we've been running into is people are saying, well, no, I've got to have the gray one because I want to use it around my house. The orange one won't work around my house. It will. It will. If one will work, they'll both work. If one won't work, <laughs> then neither one of them are going to work. Uh, you know, if, if you try to put one of these out there and the software has been updated on it and it doesn't work in your, on your property around your house and everything, then getting an orange one, it's not going to work either. And if you put an orange one out there that's been updated and it won't work around your house, then just getting the residential one isn't going to make a difference. It's still going to work the same way, which means it won't work if that one didn't work. So uh, we're going to have some more videos and a lot more information about the EPOS automotors as we go on here. Um, you know, we've got several of them out there where we're, uh, we're running and um, just want to make sure of some stuff before we pass on the information to you. Because as the, the software changes and, and things get updated, you know, it, it's, it's tough to keep up with it. It's tough to, like, put out the information to you and say, this is how this works. And then, you know, six months later, well, it doesn't work that way anymore. Or now you can do this instead. But... Um, with these, yeah, you're, you're going to have the same mower, whether it's orange or it's gray, you know, it's, it's not going to perform any differently. Um, the orange ones, the commercial version, obviously they do come with the amber lights up here in the front and they come with wheel brushes already installed. Um, that's the, the two main differences you'll see between them other than one's orange and one's gray, as I keep saying. Uh, you can put wheel brushes on this, obviously. They've had those those kits for years now for the 400 series. The 500 version, they were saying, would come with a five-blade cutting disc. That hasn't happened yet. You know, we're almost in June here in 2023, and there's been none that have come through with a five-blade cutting disc. When it finally does come available, and they start putting that on those 500 series mowers, then it will also be available as a uh, as a spare part, and you could order one to put it on one of these if you bought this version instead. Or if you want to put it on your regular 450X, you could do that as well. So, yeah, again, no, no performance differences between the residential version and the commercial version. Just one's gray, one's orange. That's it. So if you have any more questions or looking for more information about these EPOS automowers, uh, feel free to shoot us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. You can also go to our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com, and you can check out some of the information on there. We do have them available. We do have them for sale, um, the mowers, the reference stations. We do not have them listed currently for sale on our website because of the fact that you really need to, we really need to check out the property and make sure it's going to work before we just say, here it is, go ahead and order it and then have it not work. You know, there's, there's still a process to go through to make sure that it's going to be a, a successful installation and that you're going to get your, your full value out of one of these mowers because it's a, it's a bit of an investment. It's much more expensive than the wired version. And we just want to make sure that it's right. You know, we're not just going to sell you something that you're going to be unhappy with right away. That we know it's not going to work for you on your property. Um, so, yeah, again, shoot us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. If you want to know some more information about the, uh, the e-post automowers or go onto our website. We've got a good bit of information on there already. Um, you know, we've been adding some more videos as we go to explain some of the, the stuff with the EPOS automowers and just kind of show you where where they've been working at and, and that kind of stuff. Um, and then the best thing to do is make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can keep seeing all of the videos that we'll be putting out here in the future regarding these mowers. So that's going to do it for this one. As I just said, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.